Hello and welcome. This lesson is part two of the two part series on performing shared topology in ANSYS Fluent Meshing watertight geometry workflow and will focus on the interface connect method. We will dig into the final details of the method and understand how and when to use it. Let's get started. The alternative to the join intersect shear topology method discussed in part one of this lesson is the interface connect method. This method can be used to achieve increased robustness and speed of shear topology operation when there are matching overlapped surfaces between bodies. Matching here refers to the overlapping surfaces having similar shape and dimensions. The reason for this is that the method is based on first stitching the edges of the surfaces that overlap with each other and then removing one of the overlapping surfaces. Note that the method can also be used for fixing non-matching overlap surfaces. In order to use this method efficiently, it is recommended to create labels or named selections for the overlapping surfaces at the CAD creation level though the method also works when no labels are defined. When using ANSYS space claim to prepare the CAD, labels can be defined on surfaces in multiple ways. Let's quickly look at how this can be done. We will be using the geometry shown here for our demo. The standard way of creating labels is to select the appropriate geometrical feature and selecting create NS from the group step. When the CAD is loaded into ANSYS Fluent Meshing, these named selections are imported as labels. Notice that the two cylinders are connected to two rectangular surfaces on both sides. As discussed earlier, the interface connect method works best when the overlapping surfaces are of similar shape and dimension. Here, we need to split the rectangular surface to create two circular regions where the cylinders are connected. For this, we can use the imprint feature from the prepare tab. When this option is selected, space line automatically detects coincident faces, edges or vertices and imprints them onto the connected geometry. Here, we see that the four circular edges of the cylinders are highlighted when the imprint option is selected. Click on the green arrow to implement the imprint operation. We can now see that the rectangular surfaces have been split into circular surfaces where the cylinders are connected to it. Now, create the named selections for the overlapping faces. Once these are created, let us now load this model into ANSYS Fluent in meshing. Here is ANSYS Fluent in meshing mode with watertight geometry workflow selected. In the import geometry task, leave all other options to default and read the geometry file. We will not be adding any local sizing and will create the surface mesh with default settings for this demo. If we now look at one of the overlapping pairs, we can clearly see the overlapping mesh which needs to be fixed. ANSYS Fluent automatically adds the Apply Shared Topology task to the workflow after the surface mesh is created if it detects that a multi-body part has been imported without any shared topology. Before moving to the Apply Shared Topology task, the Describe Geometry task needs to be executed. Here, since we have only the solid regions, we will select the first option for the geometry. We will leave all the other options to default and click Describe Geometry. In the Apply Share Topology task, let us now select the Interface Connect method for the Share Topology method. There are three ways to select the surfaces to implement this Share Topology method, which can be chosen from the Interface Labels Selection method setting under Advanced Options. 
when name selections have been defined for the overlapping surfaces at the CAD level, the default label selection method is the manual method. Here, simply select all the surfaces, in this case, eight surfaces that overlap with each other and hit apply share topology. The meshing algorithm will first touch the overlapping surfaces and then remove one of the surfaces and remesh locally to create a conformal mesh in the interface, as we see here. If the labels need to be maintained for the boundary condition specification or for post-processing purposes, it is recommended to set the rename internals based on body names setting to no. For details on other advanced options, please refer to the user guide. For most cases, the default values for these settings are sufficient. The other method that can be used to select the overlap surfaces is the automatic method. As the name suggests, the overlapping surfaces are automatically identified by the meshing algorithm and hence no manual user selection is required. This is helpful when no labels are defined. However, because the algorithm has to brute force identify the overlapping surfaces, there is virtually no speed up that is attained when using this method when compared to the default join intersect shear topology method. Let us now go back to SpaceClaim to discuss another method of creating named selections. Here we have the same model as before with imprint operation already performed but with no name selections defined. Now, we will use the force share option from the workbench tab to automatically define the name selections. When this option is selected, SpaceClaim performs a contact check between the bodies and highlights them in the graphics window. If we turn on the only create contact groups option in the options for the force share operation, and select the green tick mark to complete the operation. Space claim will only create named selections for overlapping surfaces, but does not perform shared topology. The name selections will have a naming convention that starts with connect topology followed by a number. The number of named selections created depends on the number of contacts in the model. In our case, we have four contacts and hence four named selections. Note that each named selection contains both the overlapping surfaces. Let's now import this geometry into watertight workflow and perform the same steps as earlier till described geometry task. In the apply share topology task, the default share topology method is automatically set to interface connect. This is because the meshing algorithm automatically identified overlapping surfaces based on the labels created when the force share operation was performed in space claim. If we now look at label selection method under advanced options, it is set to automatic using connect topology. No manual label selection is required. Leave rename internals based on body names option to yes to rename the surfaces based on body names. Select apply shared topology to perform the shared topology operation and create a conformal mesh between the connected bodies. When using the interface connect shared topology method, it is recommended to set the ignore proximity across objects option to yes while generating the surface. This forces fluent meshing to ignore any small gaps between adjacent bodies, typically applicable in cases where there are duplicate faces or edges between different bodies. Turning on this option improves the performance of the interface connect method. Let's summarize what we learned in this lesson. In cases where shared topology cannot be performed at the CAD creation phase, it is possible to do this operation at the meshing phase when using the watertight geometry workflow through the apply share topology task. In this lesson, we looked at the interface connect method to perform share topology between different bodies. 
we learned about the functioning of the method and the requirement of labeling the overlapping or connected surfaces at the CAD creation level to improve the robustness and speed of the interface connect shared topology operation. With that, let's wrap up this video.